أنا أقول يا إخواني آن الأوان أن نقول يا شاكيا هم الحياة وضيقها أبشر فربك قد أبان المنهجا يا شاكيا هم الحياة وضيقها أبشر فربك قد أبان المنهجا من يتقي الرحمن جل جلاله يجعل له من كل ضيق مخرجا يجعل له من كل ضيق مخرجا مين نذوق هذه الحلاوة اللي ذاقها بلال لي الآن كثير من شباب أنا راكب أحسن سيارة ولبسه ماركات وسفريات وحفلات وشهوات وفي النهاية يقول لك زهقان طفشان لي الآن انتشر في أوساط شبابنا وبناتنا كل يوم الثاني نسمع في وسائل الإعلام شاب انتحر فتاة حاولت الانتحار سؤال هل ينقصهم شيء من شهوات الدنيا والله ما ينقصهم شيء من شهوات الدنيا إيش ينقصهم ينقصهم اتصال برب الأرض والسماء يقول ابن مسعود من صلى بينه وبين الله عز وجل فإنه يتكلم مع الله ومن قرأ كلام الله فإن الله يكلمه قال العبد إذا صلى بين يدي الله وقال الله أكبر ثم قال الحمد لله رب العالمين الله عز وجل يقول لهذا العبد حمدني عبدي وإذا قال العبد الرحمن الرحيم الله عز وجل يقول مجدني عبدي إذا قال العبد مالك يوم الدين الله عز وجل يقول أثنى علي عبدي وإذا قال العبد إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين يقول الله ذلك بيني وبين عبدي وإذا قال العبد اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يقول الله ذلك بيني وبين عبدي ولعبدي ما سأل ولعبدي ما سأل يا إخواني والله أعظم هداية وأعظم شيء لما الله عز وجل يرزق الهداية الإنسان إذا دخل الجنة يتذكر وهو في الجنة أعظم نعمة أنعم الله عز وجل إليه في الدنيا ثم يتذكرها فإذا تذكرها قال وقالوا الحمد لله الذي هدانا الله عز وجل يقول في القرآن لنا من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياة طيبة حياة طيبة وما عنده ريال واحد ولست أرى السعادة جمع مال ولكن التقي هو السعيد وتقوى الله خير الزاد ضخرا وعند الله للأتقياء مزيد Wow, like he said, we need to fear God. Vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. This life, there's nothing in this world. We have to fear God. We should not think about the worldly things. All these things will fade away. All these things will go. Like the way money goes and comes. All these enjoyments will go and come. But God will still remain. Hala will still remain. So, hold on to him. Hold on tight to him. Like It's beyond enjoyment. It's beyond, I want this, I want that. Let us reduce the way we ask from God and do more of thanksgiving than asking. Let's just appreciate him for everything, even for the 
bad times. Appreciate him. When you appreciate him for the bad times, he will do exceedingly well. He will surprise you. That's when the blessings of God, the blessings of Allah flows. That's when the blessing flow. So fear God. He alone is the one that you should fear the most. Because God, God is, 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 is a merciful God. He's always merciful. No matter how you offend him, he will always forgive. But at the same time, you have to fear him. When I mean fear him, in a way of, you know, when you fear somebody, you are, you, it's because of the respect you have for the person, you fear the person. You treat the person well. You want to do the right thing. You want to be careful. You want to, you know, just imagine that you, a child fears the father, for instance. The reason why the child will fear the father because he knows what the father can do to him. You know? So anytime you see a father, ah, he will behave well. That is how we should handle God. Like We should handle him very well. We should cherish God because God alone is faithful. God the Lord is faithful. So I love this powerful message. Like it's an encouraging word to everybody out there. It's trying to encourage us that we should you no know, believe in God, serve God, serve Him wholeheartedly, serve, serve Him diligently, serve Him as if that's the last thing you have on earth. Like that, that's the only thing you have. Hold on to God so tightly. When you serve God diligently, all other things will follow. All those blessings, all those things you have been crying for, you have been praying for, you have been angry about. You know, that's when God, everything will just be sorted out to be soft. So we should, we should, we should stop blaming God. We should stop getting angry with God. Because if you're in a situation in which you cannot get out of it, check yourself. Why is it that this situation is hard for me to get out? If you are in a negative situation or in a bad situation, check yourself. Check your relationship with God. It's very, very, very important. Wow, amazing. Like a few seconds to the video, I was about to tear up, guys, because it got to me. I was just, you know, thinking about the goodness of God. You know, mesmerized. Like, I was really, really, really soaked into the old words they were giving but while they were talking i was reflecting on how good god has been and why one should keep holding on to god thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye